Pursuit Samus versus Paulo Tana. What appropriate music. So here we go, folks. So this is a tiebreaker, like we said, uh, to advance on. Uh, I'm not exactly sure to, to what, but this is a tiebreaker. All right, so because of Swiss format, they need a tiebreak in order to figure out who's going into like the actual bracket format of this. Right. Because after this is followed by, I think it's standard double elimination of yes. four teams. And that determines who makes the money out of this. Because yes. for those not aware, the Tri-Seed Circuit's uh, top two come out with a pool of money that I believe is a collective, like 2200 or something yeah, of that it, nature. It's bread. It is bank. It's new shoes for somebody. So even though uh, you're splitting it between five lads, that's still like a good amount of dollars you're walking out of. Yeah, and I believe that uh, we got scouting report earlier from uh, Lyric of Wisdom that Bears did win when they played earlier. Uh, so we'll see what the... The rebound is for right now. Yeah, so. This is actually Bears' fault. They made this happen. Yeah, honestly, yeah. <coughs> but, okay, yep, that was just a great edge guard from Juice right there. Arch yeah, without, at history. Arch without any of his resources at his disposal, so <laughs> that was funny. And just like that, kick to the curb in a tie game immediately after. You know, I, I know I use the expression, a stiff breeze will kill him right here. Uh, literally, a stiff breeze killed him right there. Yeah, that was like not even the kick from Samus' boots. That was like... The burners. Like the exhaust from wow. her shoes. A lot of damage uh, already. Both of these characters are known for being able to put on the damage fairly quickly. Their bread and butters are fairly simple, but very effective. Yeah, it's definitely a very meta relevant matchup right now. Um, I do think that ZSS has a, some, a couple more overwhelming buttons. Like, I think she's able to, like that, that's really good. <laughs> Indeed. While Zero Suit has the stronger burst options, I would argue that Palutena has more traditional tools for playing Smash. So I like, agree, yes. Your ledge trapping is really dank. She has decent amounts of kill potential itself. Also, back air, it's, in certain situations, is outright a cheat button. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Especially for a character as aerially uh, reliant as Zero Suit. Yeah, I think like air to air, like not many characters are gonna be able to like compete with uh, Palutena, but ZSS definitely has the right combination of buttons to do so. As you can see right now, Juice is just putting the hurt on his. See, now that's right something now. only a true Palutena main would do. Only they remember they have a down B. <laughs> that's also a reflector. And he got the follow up from it too. He didn't even hesitate to pull the trigger on the giant beam of light. Ooh, nice platform cancel right there to break zone. Oh, that's going to be another reset. Oh, but catching out with the neutral air, not letting Juice an opportunity to pick off on, out of the air. But going through these trades is working out really well for Juice right now. Down oh. starting to become insurmountable as side B threatens kill, but not yet. Ooh, wow. That could have been a little bit rough for Arch right there. I didn't know how low he, uh, he did, but nice coverage with Decon's explosive flame. Up there almost killing off of the as the eye for getting wacky hit of Zare. No! And that's why the modern Palutena's don't use that button. <laughs> you just get cheated. That's a big yikes. Yeah, look at Juice when this happens. He can't even... <laughs> I didn't see Arch's react. <laughs> Arch's face just lights up in disappointment. <laughs> Just looked him dead in the face. Like, the slow robbed. motion, the slow motion, like really, like hammers home. Just like the pain in someone's <laughs> face when this You've happens. been tricked. I deceived you. <laughs> All right. That's what got? happens when you go through like eight chapters of Kid Icarus Uprising, and uh, realize that uh, there's still like a whole other bad guy you have to beat. <laughs> yeah. That game is long. I love that game. Remaster for the Switch. Why? Please take all my money. I've beating that game like 9,000 times. Can you imagine that game being controlled on not a 3DS? Chef Kiss. Just give me the joy cons Chef Kiss is everywhere. Please. My, pro Controller? Pro Controller. Motion Plus. Who is Six's opponent? Joe Silly. The silly one. The silliest one. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Yeah, All right. Right. yeah. What are you doing here? Nice. Join us for chance time. <laughs> So funny, man. So, we know Wolf is going to be on the screen. Please forgive me, by the way. I have hiccups. I feel like I'm going to die, so. We can try to fix that later. You can stare at a light. We can hang you upside down. We can try to scare you. <laughs> <laughs> so, the real chance time is figuring out what character six is going to choose. That's true.
picking against a Sonic. Oh no. That's a dice roll if I've ever seen one. And he's locking into Sonic, in fact. So. Whoa. Sonic Wolf? <laughs> I think this matchup's trash buckets, personally. We'll see how Six manages to navigate it as when, it, when he's playing confident with his Sonic. He seems like he's on the cusp of a great discovery. Yeah, I don't think Sonic is like. I still don't think Sonic's an awful character. He's definitely like it's definitely a lot of uh, learning to play around the flaws that he has. But he's still able to rack up damage like really quickly. He's still obviously the fastest character in the game. Um, and like in certain matchups, he can still kind of like exploit bad recoveries. Um, I'm, I'm firmly of the opinion that Sonic right now is an unsolved math equation and everyone's just using the wrong formulas. When you look at what Ken or Kraft just bring to the table as far as their approach to Sonic, they're hyper-aggressive Sonic. Yeah, and also ones like Sonido as well from Georgia who are continuing to uh, make waves with this character. The likes of like Sonido, Supergirl Kells, even Six himself, they're all figuring out little bits and pieces of how to string together the character's tools. Because it's very clear that Sonic's not able to play the game he was once able to in Smash 4. And the bits of him that work show signs of life for Sonic how he was played in Brawl even. Yeah, absolutely. But it's a very strange mix. That still works though. That mix is, a, that mix is still good, man. Some things just lay eternal. <laughs> Death taxes, spring gimps. Looney Tune arms. <laughs> oh, okay. catching the jump, Whoa. even with the fair. Oh, he's going for it all right now. It still has directional air dodge. Wow. And just like that, six. Pedal to the metal. It's keeping up the pressure super well onto Joe Silly. It's a very uh, smooth stuff there from 6WX. Taking advantage of a wolf for here, it's the most. Like, like most space animals, his recovery very linear. And he has even less resources uh, to work with. Sonic's a directional air dodge, though. Very good. He likes to put a lot of effort into his movement. Because of that, his hurt box is still like floaty. He's grabbing onto the ledge with very little effort. Okay, able to uh, punish the air dodge with the grab down. Bro. Good catch with the back air. Oh no! The pressure still staying, even going for the hit even further on. Oh! And the trump to back air. Six with a little pop off. He's like, it. he knows he's feeling himself. How is that for trash buckets? All right, you got it. Your character's still ass, though. <laughs> Remind me to borrow that later. Uh, the hands for bracket? That was good. That was really good. Like, that's probably the best performance of a Sonic that I've ever seen in one game. Um, yeah, and imagine where I think it's still really bad for him, because Wolf is good at keeping Sonic in disadvantage. Sonic's a light character. Wolf has very strong aerials, so... He can, he's very frail, can right. die easily, and uh, down smash is a thing, because invincibility on spring isn't as good as it used to be, so. But, when you're getting edge guarded to piss, um. <laughs> Wolf's got none of these great grounded options if he's not allowed on the ground. Yeah, can't have a good grounded option if you're not on the ground. So, next up, the pressure continuing on is we've got Escape, trying to salvage things for, uh, for Team Eon. It looks like we're going in seed order, which is nice. So this is going to be the three seed going up against the three seed. Very convenient, as we have Beast repping uh, Lab. Yes, so. BC uh, Bros Calamity Esports. So shout out to the team, to the wonderful team down at the lab that puts on the show every weekend. Uh, you know, class tournaments, the laboratory, everybody in conjunction. Such good stuff, man. So. Trainer to Snake. I feel like this is a very meta-relevant matchup. Characters that we see fairly often. Absolutely, yeah. Especially on the local level, too. We feel like we've got a lot of trainers within Tri-State. Every part of Tri-State has like a solid handful of them. And then Snake is that one character that crops up under someone's control. Yeah, and there is a a, uh, a very good Pokemon, uh, excuse me, Snake main uh, in the the, uh, the Bay region of Pennsylvania, which uh, the lab takes place in. Um, Sabo, Ooh. formerly known as SSB Matt. No, Rob. that's except that's uh, not Snake. That is a a, a worthless, that is a peripheral from the 1980s, which brought Nintendo out of debt. Oh, looks, it's Rob. No way. What the that's some hard plastic. <laughs> I, I have no words. I truly have so no words. So Rob, things happened, and Bro, life oh is my very God. hard sometimes. Okay. Uh, so Beast, uh, already Presuming on the he's allowed right to now. play the game, he should be all right. As Rob, a big body, lends himself well to being comboed. 
as well as counter zone. I feel like Ivysaur's zoning options, not really all that traditional as far as zoning is concerned, but work well given what Rob's projectile game is. Yeah, like Rob is a combo dumpster. Like when he's getting hit, there's really so much you can do except hold it. Like his landing options are uh, pretty telegraphed, as you can see right here. Uh, Beast immediately getting himself back in the swing of things. But that's still being a stock down. Starting off with a stock deficit, not a great way to start, especially against a character that can control the momentum of the battle so well. Yep, controls the mid game, uh, the mid range really well with stuff like laser and gyro, but also can grab you and combo you and kill you off of it. So Rob is just this very awkward character to fight against if you don't have like a good like uh, I don't know, like zone breaking option. Oh, sweet God. All right, anchoring now down onto the Charizard. Not really having an opportunity to switch amongst his Pokemon during the set. Goes for the wake-up DP with the fly. Not going to be the answer, see but reaching with the back air does start to bring back the stock deficit as we see the rotation onto Squirtle. Yeah, uh, if Beast wins here, I believe it is, is Curtains um, for Team Eon. But Escape doing a good job keeping his team in it right now. And that's all of that fuel. Juggle state begins now, up tilt. Ooh, we almost never see up tilt used, but I feel like Beast utilizes it so well. Oh, the yeah. State trainers. Such a good anti air and, uh, you know, uh, move to Shark under platforms with, and also continues juggle situations. There you go. Okay, Gyro's going to trade with the Razor Leaf right there. Interesting trade. Gyro, not really the greatest of items, but Robert manages to use such a pitiful item so well. <laughs> It's good. It's not as like... Uh, it just occupies space, and honestly, that's all you need. Yeah, picking up Gyro is like half the, the fight. Okay, so Beast so, has brought it back to a one-stock situation. Now let's see if he can uh, capitalize. <laughs> I didn't your know trainer was so concerned. <laughs> 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 Why? <laughs> just, just I mean, honestly, if you see like your cabbage getting planted, I would be concerned too. Take a turn to heal, it's fine. <laughs> Like, okay. use that photosynthesis. That synthesis. Get yourself uh -oh. out of there. Ooh. Oh, Ivysaur's drugs. Oh, he's trying. He's trying. Oh, you're pretty. Not sure we went for the up throw there, whereas down throw probably would have been a much more. Ooh, all right. Oh, no. Great anti air option with the up tilt, but we're starting to really get into the danger zone now. Max Rage Charizard. Okay. And being able to shark into those platforms. With up tilt and stuff like that. Yeah, back air is definitely on deck right now, Hangman. Like, back air from anywhere but center stage is going to threaten oh. so much kill. And now, double parry out of the laser? All right, I'm liking it. The tilt Very dangerous in. situation. Does he have gas? He's going to have to air dodge, but he doesn't time it. Right, Beast clawing back from the jaws of defeat. Takes a 3-0 in favor of the lab. Reverse freestyle, by the way. He Just really clawed them all. Like, he was kind of getting slapped up. He started with one less stock. He got robbed.